Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow. Welcome to Grab. There have been some updates. As you can see, there's a brand new animated lobby. It's very cool. It's fun to explore. And there's some fun stuff to do here. So I urge you to check that out. Also, for the month of June, it's Pride Month. They've got a free Pride pin. Come and get yours. We're also going to be talking about um, an update in the editor that is super useful for colors. And before you were able to do your own custom colors. Now there's a way to save them and it's very useful. And I'm going to show you how to work with palettes and use those to uh, get your colors. So they're all color coordinated rather than you trying to pick them out of a hat. And I'll show you how that's done. All right, everybody, let's jump in and get this done. All right, we're in editor and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna get some blocks, some colored blocks that I can use to start with. And I'm just gonna throw those down, and just space them out sort of semi-evenly. All right, and as you can see, there are just the, the regular blocks. There's nothing really different about them right now. All right, to start with, I'm just gonna select the block and then I'll go to selection where the colors are. And you can see down here at the bottom now, there are slots, okay? And they are gray to start with. So if I just select one of those and select one of these blocks, you notice it's just kind of a dull gray. All right, and that's the default color. Now I have saved some colors in these slots already. And when you click on them, it just colors the block immediately. All right, and you'll notice this is a custom color that is not one of these colors up here. You can you can go through that and none of those would be the same. So let's go ahead and get these all colored. And you might be saying, Rainbow, why did you use those particular colors? I actually went out and I don't cord color coordinate very well. I always end up using a color palette. And one of the cool things about this is that you can go and get your palette colors and save them before you even get started. And an easy way to do that, I'm going to show you that now. So what you want to do is open up the browser in your headset and you can do this while you're in grab and we're going to go to canva and you can do a search for it it's easy to do just just type in canva or canva color palette and then i'm just going to select where it says color palettes and it will pull these up for you and you don't have to log in you don't have to have an account even though it's good and you can go down and say hey these colors for the primary colors you can pick any ones you want and you can probably see this is just the one i grabbed just because it jumped out at me immediately and these are the numbers that you need for your color palette so if you look at the and uh, i'll go ahead and say with the cyan right it's 2ff3eo all right and when i jump back in and i'm actually actually looking at the color there so and if you look at this 2ff3eo all right so we've got that we've got that picked out and it's ready to go and all what you do is you would just save that now how does it work and you say okay i i like the, those three colors and honestly you don't have to like these but these colors are uh, coordinated on a color palette so that they should go together but you can go ahead and pull up on your color palette when you pull up on your on the color palette and this is what I like about Canva they have combinations and let's say you want something else okay and you notice we've already got a couple of these those look like and you need a darker color there's one right there and this is where this comes in so Go ahead and get your color, 4C5270. All right, you have, write it down, remember it, whatever. All right, and then what we're going to do is just going to, we're going to go up to selection, and you have to have something selected. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'll just paste another one down right there. Let me drop in, and we'll grab that. So you grab it, you go to selection, and then down here... You're going to punch in that color. 
that you selected. So, and you're like, hey, I don't remember what the color is. That's the cool thing about the browser. You can just pull it up and look at it. So you got 4C5270. And what you want to do is right here at the bottom, you just click on that and you go 4 oops, C5270. Seven, oops, seven, zero, come on, zero, and hit OK. And you notice that's the color right there. And uh, go ahead and select it. And you want to save it back to your, back to the wheel here. So if you hold your trigger down and hover over this just for a second, you will see it change to that color. So now you've got that saved. So you can just jump around and you know, say you don't want to use one of those colors right now. You can jump in and swap them around at any point in time. All right. So, and that's the cool feature about this. Now they don't, the color palette doesn't save once you get off and get back on, but it does save while you're doing your work. And then the other thing is you can always go and grab a color and just save it to your color palette. Like I select this back wall right here. All right. You see, you see that's... That is the color right here. And if I want to save it here, I just hold the trigger down and just hold it over and it saves that color right there. All right, everybody. I'm Rainbow. I hope this was useful for you, especially if you're a building and you have trouble color coordinating like I do. All right. Y'all be good. Take care now. Bye-bye.